Hello there, and thanks for coming by again. Uh, this is another one of my controllers. This one is for the four pin Western Fisher V plows or straight blades like the HTS or Prodigy. The controller normally looks like this. This is one of mine, but it looks like that layout wise. And it has a little four pin plug on it. This hands free one has the same setup in the middle so you don't get lost with the buttons got two power buttons the left and the right doesn't matter which one you use a shake button and an auto plow button and it has the small original plug and a new another plug which you have to run accessory wires if you want to use the added features it's also a different handle a little bit thinner still comfortable no long you know you could reach anywhere in there it's a boss style handle if you're familiar with a boss so what we can do now is I'm going to plug it in first. Okay, with it plugged in, all you usually see is the little Chief logo lighting up. I don't know if you can see this on camera. Lights up on the bottom. That shows it's getting power. Now, if you have auxiliary lights like a beacon or something you use for auxiliaries, you can turn them on by themselves if you wire the wire up to a relay that comes out of the controller and to get to them to turn on all you do is tap the power button what that does is cause the float light to blink and that means just the auxiliary lights are on now if you turn the controller on full you gotta hold the button in and that turns the power light on that also turns on the exterior perimeter lights which again I don't know if you can see them around the buttons and you could use like I said either button that you just gotta hold to turn it off hold it to turn it on if you're not using auxiliaries all right and now let's get this out of the way so we can see the plow if you need to contact me it's plow dash controllers at twc.com and again this is for a four pin now the features work your normal way tap for down or hold it your float light will come on if you want to go all the way up which you can do a double tap the up and it'll take it all the way up similar with the right and left if it's all the way left you want to go all the way right just do a double tap and same thing the other way now the other second feature is the shake raises the plow a little bit and then gives it a little rock and roll to shake the snow off. Alright, the main feature is your hands free. That has two modes. The one mode is for back drag mode, which means when you put it in reverse, it's going to drop the blade and you can back drag with it. When you put it in forward, it'll raise the plow so you can go back up to where you're back dragging. Second mode is normal plow, so we're going to do the first mode first, which is push the mode button once, you'll see the little yellow light will blink. And I'm going to put this out of the way now. <coughs> While you're in either one, the back drag mode or regular plow mode, you can go left, right, V, scoop, using the controller. As you can see, plow drop when I put it in reverse. Back up your back drag. Get to the end of your back drag. Lift her up. And pull back up your next swipe. One thing, this is Meyer has this, but one thing Meyer does not have is a feature that I added, which involves when you move it, you can use the blinkers to move the plow left to right. You can't do V and scoop obviously, but you can move the plow in both directions, either while you're down or right. This feature won't be the blinkers won't work when you're doing not in uh, auto mode because you're driving around from place to place your plow will be going all over the place but so it only does that in auto mode now the next mode if the plows up and you're in drive the plows gonna drop that's push mode and same thing push to where you gotta go change the plows you need to get to the end I'm going for the controller and I don't even have to. And then you lift her up. Like I said, you can also control it. So basically, 
You can do an entire driveway if you just need left, right. And you can move the plow. You can do an entire driveway without touching a controller. To turn them, get out of mode, the auto mode, you just hit it again. If it's in a second mode, the float light will still be on if the plow is down. You just hit the up button that puts you back in the normal position. Um, in order to, for the reverse to work, what you need to do is you need to run a light wire. And you can get that in a number of places. You can get that from your reverse lights if you can't find it somewhere. You can find it at the neutral safety switch of the transmission. Because that usually where your reverse switch is. And it also works that way if you're doing a stick shift. And if you have a backup camera, you can steal the reverse light from there. And in some trucks, some of the newer ones, they're actually nice enough to put one under the hood. It's usually near the fuse box. For the blinkers, you need a right and left blinker wire run back to your where your controller plug is. And you can either pick them up right at the front lights. Or the easiest way with the four pin controllers is since most people have lighting modules that are hooked up in underneath the truck is to pick up the left and right blinker right from the lighting module. So you got a shorter run to make and it's easier to get to. You don't have to go digging through removing lights and stuff to get the wires. If you want to know where to get them, you just have to contact me, you know, if you buy the controller. I will supply the return to plug that's going to plug in to the extra plug and the wiring, enough wiring to get to where you have to go or where you should be able to get to go if you happen to buy a controller. And that's basically the gist of it. It's also available in a 10 pin V plow, which has the larger round plug. Let's see if I got one there. And the 10 pin version also. This is the older V plow controllers. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's my adapter. But that's the type of plug that's on the 10 pin ones, the old style. This one, like I said, is the small pin. And if you happen to have or know anybody that wants one for a straight blade, I got one of them too. This is a straight blade model. Got your four buttons, your shake, and your mode button. Works the same principle, but it works for only straight blades. No, uh, not the four pin straight blades, but the other straight blades. And they can be. I can make it work on just about every straight blade controller that plow that there is. Uh, Boss. Snow do salt dogs, uh, Meyer Fisher, Western, all the standard straight, straight pins, blades, yeah, straight blades, not straight pins. Okay, that I think covers everything. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, email me direct. It's easier to email me than it. Try messaging me through YouTube because it's easier to talk through regular email than through the site. All right, thanks for watching.